Hello, this is Elise. I'm an intuitive and a channeler. And these are the beings that I channel on a regular basis. These are a series of questions that were asked by a colleague, friend of mine. And here's another one of their question, her questions and their answers. Why are the beings interested in communication with humans and where do they come from? Do they have a particular place in space that is different from ours? And how do they travel through space time to communicate? Are they physically closer or do they use te- telepathy? Here is their answer. There are many questions in your question, so we will work on answering as best we can. Do we telepathically communicate? Yes. Do we physically communicate? Yes. Can we be seen? Yes. And as we've said before, we come from the 12th frequency. That is all true. I've had those um, experiences with them. You can call it a dimension. You can call it a level of consciousness. But is it a frequency that is beyond what most humans can connect to and we travel through light because light doesn't actually travel? I believe that to be true, quite honestly. It is actually standing still, but given the vibration, light travels. And we are able to manipulate that vibration of your light so we may drop down and connect with the light body within the human so we may communicate through that human like we do with Elise and calibrate with their energy and our energy. So it's almost like we are able to be part of a family or families of star seeds and soul families that are able to communicate with their star seeds in other dimensions. This is not the only dimension that we communicate through. This is one in particular, though, is here to shift the level of consciousness and the microcosm, the biome, the strands within the DNA, all the molecular structure that's within your body to shift it more into light, even though you have contractions, because you are in physical form in a more dense dimension, but it's not as dense as you may perceive it to be. But your brain and your actions will take effect that it is dense. I find that interesting and that I believe there's so much truth to that. You have the ability to travel through your light body if you choose to, but the level of consciousness has to be at a high frequency in order for that to happen. And you will find that when you start to coalesce with the other humans on your planet that are at this level of frequency, then the synchronicities come into alignment. I believe that to be so true. And more opportunities and experiences through the light body, your light body, will expand as well and show up more often. So beautiful. I just love that. So take what resonates, let the rest go, and I will talk to you next time. Thanks for listening.